This video cast is regarding how to convert any mobile and tablet or any web template into hybrid mobile application or generally called as Cordova project or phone game app and publish it to Google Play Store. In this video, we will demonstrate to you with the classified template. This template is built by me and it is available on Theme Forest. The link and the link is added in video description. Similarly, one can convert any template into hybrid app. The name of this app template. The name of this template is classified mobile and tablet responsive template. So let's start. So here is the template. Uh, and uh, as you can see it has four different color variations also so basically this is uh, just HTML uh, CSS and JavaScript template which one can use it for mobile or tablet applications it is designed in that way small it down to so as you can see here it has pop-ups and inquiry instant pop-ups and uh, category decos a listing of subcategories and listing of the business profiles and it is pretty cool actually one can go into business profile and have a nice page with parallax effect and the other details image gallery and uh, chat room many this menu is actually sidebar this sidebar menu is actually pretty helpful it has sub menu levels and uh, many other helpful pages like search login sign up registration and one can use it in any classified listing project for mobile app okay so we'll quickly go through the template files and here we have the index file and kind of thing so I'm not going to demonstrate how you are going to uh, integrate it with the backend uh, maybe it were Word, WordPress or any other STP clients or whatever but I'll just demonstrate you how to convert this template after purchase into a hybrid mobile app uh, basically Cordova project or phone app project and publish it to Google Play Store so let's get started uh, first of all what I'll do is uh, I'll copy this template will convert only single color only any one color so I'll create as a folder name app and copy all the files from blue folder into this app okay now let's create one another folder as classified and before converting I hope you would have installed phone gap and code if not you can follow this follow this website or I have my other tutorial in the description which you can help you to get started installing phone gap and Cordova npm install phone gap and same with the Cordova so I have already installed the Cordova so I'll just start with creating the app for it so I'll open my command prompt and uh, change my directory to the path now I'll create Cordova create name the app whatever you want for this one I'm going to name as classified so it will create the Cordova project for you in the directory which we have selected let's check that out
yes and we have this uh, this Cordova project here and inside the www folder basically we are going to copy uh, this whole you can copy directly from here also we are going to copy the blue content blue template content into the classified www folder just remove all this yes okay now uh, f we are going to publish it on Google Play Store so let's start adding the platform so for that you have to enter Cordova platform add Android and put a save flag oh my type type of mistake actually it's not platform its platform this is what actually happens when you uh, do live video casting you know uh, okay so if you get this kind of error as current working directory is not a Cordova project then remember we created a Cordova project inside the classified folder so actually we have to go into that folder first of all so let's do cd classified and uh, now we can do Cordova platform add android and it will add the plat android platform it is fetching using the command line so it has finished uh, fetching the Cordova platform and ha have added the platform in the config file also let us check that I opened that classified folder in my text editor code editor and as you can see here inside the platform sections we have platform folder we have android actually and uh, we don't need to touch that one for now let's open the config.xml file and name the project uh, as classified and description will write mobile and tablet app template all right so remember we added the template files inside www folder and we have all the files over here and how you can run this uh, before making the apk out of it is uh, very simple actually if you installed phone gap you can run command as phone gap dot space serve and it will serve this uh, project via http protocol using some ip address it will and you can enter the ip address in, in 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 your phone and check the application so for now it is 192.168.0.101 colon 3000 and yep we have our app ready now this is not a android app basically it's just serving the html content over here but uh, let's terminate this task and in order to make apk out of this uh, project what we need now is just a simple command cordova build as you have only added android platform it will directly build for android only but if you have added multiple platform you have to specify cordova space build space android for iphone app you have to use mac to build the iphone app actually so you can see here the message that uh, build is success and uh, the file will be inside its I'll show you the path here actually let's wait 
so i did pause the video because it was taking much time to uh, create but i hope after that command you would have got lots of this kind of new lines and finally a path where your apk was created uh, for mine it is actually the same project path inside platform inside android inside build inside outputs inside apk we have our android dash debug dot apk and you can use this file to uh, install it and in, in any android device and uh, test it actually but in order to publish this file uh, to google play store we have to sign this a apk so let's quickly do that for that one first of all we have to generate a key store file so in order to generate a key store key store file we have this command key tool generate key verbose keys the file name is key store let's name the file as key store only dot key store alias let it be key store and key size that's all cool okay and run this command it will ask for key store password and for this file you can enter your password and it will ask for your last uh, first and last name your organizational unit name of your organization city state india is asking is it correct yes again it's asking for key store file so if you want to keep the key store file same just return press return or enter now you would have seen that the key store file has been created here actually and uh, using this key store file we are going to sign the apk now the next step is to create a build.json configuration file so in the same project directory of our app we'll create a new file and uh, we'll write this json and we'll specify key store file is equal to key store dot key store in our case store password is i have specified home one two three key key alias is uh, remember we put key store and password is same as here and key store type leave it blank and just save this file as build dot json and remember your build dot json and key store file should be in the same directory now let's uh, let's uh, build this app for signing this apk actually now in order to publish this app you have to write android build kodowa build android with the flag of release So we'll check it in the app folder. Go to platforms and uh, Android build output APK. And yes, we have our release APK file here. And this APK file you can use it to publish on Google Play Store. Let's do that one quickly. go to create application name of your application that is for in our case it is classified mobile and template tab template
and you can specify this all short descriptions and this graphics and kind of thing so go to device catalog and upload the apk here accept the license agreement we have no other choice by the way click on upload apk and uh, drop your release file over here and you're done uh, your app will be apk will be there and you can have to just follow other steps of descriptions and icons and graphics and you can submit your apk for publish and that's it thanks